off the court, I try to be a little more laid back and, and, and uh, uh, a nice guy. But I always say, uh, you know, four years from now, if they're saying, boy, that Tad Boyle's a nice guy, it's not a, it's not a good sign, okay? That's like your blind date having a good personality. You don't want to hear that, okay? So uh, on the court, we got we got to get it done, and, and uh, there's no excuses. What were some of the things that you were able to, I mean, obviously you've been under certain coaches and whatnot, but specifically Coach Brown when you were at Kansas. What were certain things that you were able to take away from that and almost translate in, into your coaching style? Today? Well, the thing about Coach Brown is he was, he was relentless. He was a guy that was a stickler for details, and and he would keep pushing you, even when, I remember, geez, uh, my last year there, I think we won 25 games, and when the season was over, we, we felt like we let him down, you know, and it just, uh, it was that he just wanted you to keep getting better and kept pushing and kept pushing and kept pushing. And that's, that's how we got Kaido to win a national championship in 1988, and I was unfortunately on the front end of that, I wasn't on the back end of that, I missed the final four by one year. You know, with with, with Mark, because I, I graduated in '85 and they went in '86. So, but I think just pushing your guys and pushing your players outside their comfort zone and outside their limits. We we want to play fast. There's no doubt. It is easier in college basketball. It's easier to slow the game down than it is to speed it up. But we want to play a high possession game. And uh, but I say this: uh, in in college basketball, I don't care what league you're in, you better be able to execute in the half court when league play comes. In or if you get an NCAA tournament games, you better be able to execute in half court, you're going to have problems. So it's not just going to be a run and gun thing. We're going to be fun to watch. We're going to get out and run on every miss. But we, we have to be a great execution team on the offensive end as well. Uh, now we'll, we'll sit down before November 12th, before our first game, and we'll talk about goals. And, and uh, again, uh, part of the buy in factor is, is the players have to set some of those goals, and the coaches have to set some of those goals, so we have expectations of each other. Um, but to me, the NCAA tournament is the end result. That's not the it's not what you focus on this time of year. What you focus on this time of year is how well are you practicing? How are you getting better at the things you need to get better at? And, and, and winning is a result of you know what you're doing every day in practice and what you're doing every possession, whether it's on the offensive end or defensive end. I try not to focus on that end result because the end result takes care of itself if you do the things you're supposed to do to be successful. Thank <laughs> you.